Today on our 2013 BMW 5 Series, we're going to be installing the Kurt Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number C11381. Now here's what our hitch looks like installed on our vehicle. Now let's go ahead and give you a couple measurements in helping you choose some accessories, such as a bicycle rack or a cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is approximately three inches. From the top of the opening in the receiver to the ground is approximately 10 and a half inches. Now let's go ahead and install our hitch. We're gonna begin here underneath the vehicle where we're gonna to need to remove this underbody panel. There's three screws and five push fasteners that we'll need to remove. Now to remove our push fasteners, we'll take a flathead screwdriver and slide it underneath the center portion. We'll then take our trim panel removal tool or you can use another large flathead screwdriver and you wanna work the center of the push fastener down so that you can pull it out. We'll then go ahead and remove our three screws using a 10 millimeter socket. We'll then go ahead and remove our underbody panel. Now let's go ahead and point out our mounting locations. We're gonna start here at the two rearmost mounting locations. We'll be using this hole right here and this hole right here over on the passenger side. Our other two holes will actually be two holes that we'll need to drill in the trunk pan up in this area. We'll need to get the hitch temporarily installed before we know exactly where we need to drill our holes. Now let's go over the hardware that we'll be using to mount our hitch at the two rearmost mounting locations. We'll be using a half inch by inch and a quarter carriage bolt, this square hole spacer block, and a half inch flange nut. Now in order to get our carriage bolt and spacer block into the vehicle's frame right here, or the bumper frame, we'll be using a fish wire or a bolt leader or pull wire to do that. So we'll go ahead and take the coiled end, go through our mounting location. Now you will need to gently push out on the bumper cover here and reach your hand up to find the end come out. There's a hole on the back side of the bumper bracket here. Go ahead and take our square hole spacer block, feed it onto the bolt leader, then thread our carriage bolt in place. We'll then go ahead and pull our carriage bolt and our spacer block into position. We'll go ahead and leave our pull wire on for now so that the hardware doesn't fall back into the bumper's frame. Go ahead and repeat the same process over here on the driver's side. Next, we'll go ahead and take this section of the hitch here. Go ahead and feed both of our pull wires through the mounting locations. Now with our hardware pulled through the one side, we'll go ahead and remove the pull wire. We'll then install one of the flange nuts. Then we'll repeat the same process over on the other side. Next, we're gonna go ahead and take two more half inch by inch and a quarter carriage bolts. We'll need to install one here in this hole on the hitch and one right here on the other hole. We're then gonna take the tail bracket Line it up like this. Put two flange nuts on, holding it in place. Now that we have the tail section of our hitch loosely installed, we need to go ahead and mark the two holes that'll need to be drilled in the trunk pan. Now with our two holes marked, we can go ahead and remove the tail section of the hitch Next, we'll go ahead and open up the trunk. Next, we'll need to lift the cover here. 
There's a nut there and a nut there that we'll need to remove. Then go ahead and lift up the panel here and slide it out of the way. We're gonna go ahead and loosen up two brackets that help keep the battery in place. as well as a metal strap that goes over the top of it. This will allow us to push the battery back towards the rear of the vehicle so that when we're drilling our holes from underneath, we don't accidentally drill into the battery. We'll go ahead and take a pilot bit and we'll put a pilot hole in each of our two locations first. We can then go ahead and drill it out to the size per the instructions. Now with our holes drilled, we'll go ahead and reinstall the tail bracket. Now here's what it looks like with our holes drilled in the trunk pan. Now let's go over the hardware that we'll be using at these two forward most mounting locations. From inside the trunk here, we'll be installing a half inch by two inch carriage bolt in this larger square hole spacer block. It'll go just like this through the trunk pan. Now on the underside here, we're gonna be installing some silicone sealant it's part number LT37467. That way we seal up any area around the hole. That way no exhaust fumes or water or anything else can get in the hole. And then we'll drop it down into position. We'll go ahead and repeat the same process for the other location. Now we'll go back underneath the vehicle where we'll need to install our round hole spacer block in between the hitch and the trunk pan, followed by a flange nut. Now that we have all the hardware installed, we can go ahead and tighten it down. Once all the hardware has been tightened down, we can then torque it to the manufacturer's specification. I will go ahead and hold our panel up here. We're going to need to find the center of the hitch. We'll do that by lining up the holes, just kind of looking up. We're going to go ahead and put a mark here where the center of the hitch would be. Then we'll need to measure out an inch and a half on either side of our mark, as well as six inches down, so that we make a rectangle that will need to be cut out of this underbody panel. To do that, we'll use a rotary tool. Now that we have the section removed from our panel, we can go ahead and reinstall the panel. Now we'll go ahead and reinstall the hardware securing the battery and any other items that we may have removed during the installation.
And that'll do it for the installation of our Kurt Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number C11381 on our 2013 BMW 5 Series.